Hello. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome to Mystic Ashram. I'm Dedham Car Finley. Nice to meet you. It's been a long, long time since I've been doing tarot videos. That's because I've been busy doing technology art type stuff. So uh, it's good to see you all and much love to my subscribers who are only 450 right now and I have to have like a thousand or something for any sort of commodification. So um, if you really care and would like more readings and like me to get online at all for anything or you enjoy my fine playlists here at Mystic Ashram or anything else I'm curating for you in the near future, won't you please, please donate to paypal.me or um, uh, forward slash authenticity toys. Thank you very much. That's paypal.me authenticity toys. Thank you. So, um, let's see. There's also information down below. Let's just put it that way. Patreon and stuff, if you really care. So, uh, on with the fine, fine readings. Uh, so far, this one goes out to Aquarius. I need to keep my videos like 10 minutes, so I'm just diving right through. Okay, so we're using the Quick and Easy Tarot, um, which is this deck right here by U.S. Game Systems. It's uh, really, since I have so much going on right now with the camera, it's easier for me to deal with this. So, and it keeps our videos so short. So in the past, what I'm getting is that there was someone who was really into their physical comforts. They were very worldly, very jaded. Uh, they didn't have a lot of uh, higher energy for you. Um, they were, uh, it says life holds no surprises for this person. So they're not really adventurous either. Um, they, it says attractive and well-dressed, perhaps, when they showed up. Uh, they might deceive you, and they're not what they appear. Um, so do not trust this man with your heart. He will break it. It seems like there's some sort of deceit in your past, Aquarius. Um, then in your present, you have the Two of Pentacles, which is really interesting because it says that this is a pinnacle junction for you, that great changes are in store for you, that there's going to be a message or a document that arrives in the mail, and this is going to solve a long-standing problem that has kept you very blocked. Uh, if not, it, uh, do it uh, take care of an issue that's outstanding, even if this document doesn't show up, but that goes without saying. Um, an excellent time for new projects. Uh, it says that the energies facilitate this new direction. You should research your projects carefully. Pay attention to details, so you might be working on some sort of plan or something, and you need to be patient, wait for all the elements to fall into place for big major things, and then pick up a project which you might have temporarily set aside in the midst of crises. Uh, then above that current position, we have uh, your, your current issues that have kept you hindered. Um, immaturity, laziness, lack of ambition, crisis and confidence. You've lost your belief in your abilities. This card signifies a low point in your life. Any facet of your life is at risk. Your future is in doubt. Possible loss of a job, home, or loved one. Relationship trouble. Broken engagement. Deal with the reality of your situation. So this is a, a wake-up call uh, probably about this person who was just um, uh, all brutish, lazy, chauvinistic, 
uh, it can work both ways. I'm not saying it was necessarily a male for you heterosexual male Aquarians. It could have been a female who who maybe lost something important that, that re was required for the next phase of development. One moment you're talking about building a business together, the next moment they they run away with the money. You know, you never know. Just a guess. All right, I'm I'm also trying to pay attention to spirit guides here. <sighs> and to get centered. Okay. So, in the headspace there is uh, some sort of new love affair you're aware of that this says there's divine timing as in you will sync with one another. You will be in sync. Your lives are, you're both single at the same time. You're both destined to meet. You've got your stuff kind of in a certain position. Uh, this is talking about two people who finally come together after a long flirtation. So somebody you've probably known, I don't know, six months or a year or, you know, a couple of years. Somewhere tops a couple of years. Um, maybe you've had long flirtation over the past couple of years, but you've been separated decades and you used to know each other way back in the day. All right. Connections are made in business. This is important that you realize you're on the same path with some sort of business. The start of a new relationship that will have a dramatic effect on your life. So this is somebody whose skills can be lent to your own. Then there's the, the five of swords. And and I hope that you're you're getting some of this artwork on the cards. I I have always had intention of putting a little embedded thing of the whole reading, but all right. So in your earthly position at the moment, put self interest and self preservation first. You can't be of use to anyone else if you don't look out for yourself. So this is the ahim ahimsa principle, first rule in uh, the um, in uh, yoga, which is you know about uh, ahimsa, taking care of oneself in order to be of service to others, healing others. Um, so it says. Look out for yourself. Conflict and hostility defeat and destroy important projects. So you might have had a lot of opportunities recently. You had to let them go by because, well, you didn't have the money. This other person ran away with the money. Didn't pay anything. Left you on the hook for everything. And you thought it would be, like, maybe the first batch of, of products or projects completed by this point and it turns out you've got to start from square one after you know them moving on and they seem okay they seem fine all right so the outcome may seem unfair this difficult time will provide insight and growth possible illegal or immoral conduct public shame and dishonor this is very unfortunate Whoever is going through this, I pray for you. My heart goes out to you. I feel your pain. We share. I I am grieving with you. Um, so it's just uh, never let this happen again, Aquarius. Uh, keep control of your stuff. And when the moment, the first boundary is crossed, that's it. Not the 30th. Don't, you're a very tolerant person. You you like people and you like being friendly and you just let things slide. Uh, and know that, know that, avoid that unhealthy codependency, if at all possible. And one of the best ways of getting out of that is to surround yourself with as many friends at the same time as possible, even if you're socially uh, phobic. Just get out of that one person's energy into multiple people's energy fields and suddenly you're not isolated you know which way is up you have a compass around others okay 
So just a little tip for those who are going through social phobia at the moment. Now, this is a page of pinnacles. It signifies a young male under 30, but it can be a female who just has youthful tendencies. They are high-spirited, engaging, and optimistic. Makes friends easily, sociable, charming, intelligent, educated, good common sense, loyal, honest, trustworthy, thinks before they speak. Uh, so they, they're thoughtful. Uh, this person trusts you and looks out for your best interests. They will have an effect on your life. And considering that it goes along with this two of uh, cups, which everyone is saying is the twin flame soulmate card, one of them in the entire deck, this, this page of pentacles suggests the opening of a business or the beginning of a business venture or um, a new invention, a new project to work on. Now, emotionally, how are you feeling? And and this might not be how you're feeling right now, but it's definitely emotionally what you want. And what is the, I would say, the the one of the outcomes, what will emotionally gratify you. Now, in the seventh, it says present attitude. So this is what you're going for, Aquarius. You want it all. Ten of cups, but most of all, with the ten of cups, it's water. So you, what you want the most is satisfying emotional relationships. That is money in the bank to you. Having like-minded people, sharing good times in person, in a chill environment with very low stress is your daydream, Aquarius. And you want it to be a 24-7 intentional community functioning, working together in some form called a town. That's your daydream is that you're on the episode of, you know, whatever... Uh, little house on the prairie or whatever, you know, who knows what your daydream is. But, you know, it it could be it, it Jefferson's. It could be whatever, you know, appeals to you as a neighborhood of people who interact on a daily basis and share like-minded views and they gain fun and sustenance through hard times. And that's what you're looking for. So, in the conclusion of your present attitude is entering a peace period of peace and contentment. You are wanting to hang up your hat bad, Aquarius. You need stability. You want a supportive family. You want great friends. So you need the ability to travel and spend good time with friends who can't even visit. You need a special love relationship. Like somebody who instinctually gets you. You need commitments which are made and kept by others. So there's just not a re enough reciprocation. Maybe you're a really like, empathic person or whatever and you've given a lot out. And nobody ever really, you know, recently thought that, hey, you know, those commitments, I need to, to keep those. So uh, this person can can continue making commitments to to the next people who come along down the road of life. Um, joy and happiness, forgiveness and reconciliation. You have all the material possessions you need. Purchase of a home. And that's really what you're looking for is you're looking for that material stability, that home, that um, and that anchor socially, Aquarius. And this is the age of Aquarius, so let's hope that it was just really slow with Saturn grinding on through. And now that Uranus has in, uh, you know, uh, is the Mars has entered our sign, and Uranus is our modern ruler, more perhaps than Saturn. Unless you're talking Vedic, then, you know, that's what you need to sustain yourself. It will take care of your emotional problems, I think, is what it's saying. 
All right, so for other people, it kind of has more to do with you being a leader and giving to others. It has to do with a loving relationship between a father and a child. So maybe this was your own personal child memories. Uh, maybe this is somebody you want to be for someone, for a child. Uh, maybe this is, you know, a provider uh, as a parent of either gender, you 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 strive to provide for your offspring more than almost anything else. But also, love is there. But that you realize that those essential needs are tantamount first. So you are the master of your own emotions. Uh, is what you're desiring. So not having emotional manipulation by everyone you have personal intimate contact with in your life, adding to the weight that's on you instead of the inspiration or the uplifting or the uh, joyful giving, the unreserved, unconditional love we all strive for when we meet those little goals, we need someone externally to say, hey, that's good, go you. And, uh, you know, you need to be that. You want to be a leader in your own right. This is a card of authority, willpower, and self-control. So you've worked hard to get to this place with others and be seen this way. Aquarius. Projects or ideas will fall into place. Dreams will be realized. Assume control of the situation. Build your plan. You will be in a position of responsibility. Protect and defend those in a weaker position. So this suggests that if you are starting a business, it will be one that almost immediately has employees. And when you're building a plan, you need to put in place for your employees what you yourself would have desired, ideally, and what would have made you keep your jobs that you had to leave because of lack of financial restitution, re you know, reciprocation for your time, energy, blood, sweat, tears. You know, maybe you just did too many internships in the 90s. You know, it happens. All right. So, um, okay. So, here, uh, we have the hopes, wishes, and dreams. And um, right now, it's suggesting, actually... It suggests innermost emotion. So this is your your inner self. Kind of interesting because this this would be your present. Um, you know, kind of. Uh, it said your uh, future influence, present attitude. Okay, present attitude. This. Five of Swords, this recent event, totally canceled out by this. It's very interesting. This suggests, however, that you've known them a while. This is not somebody who just showed up. But somebody who just showed up could be a really good friend. You, it could, you know, be the start of some social network type connections where you, you know. But it, I think that you're open to your healer potential. You're opening to being a healer. Okay. So feelings of exhaustion, low energy, lethargy, and mental dullness. You are over-involved. Need to choose between too many commitments. Loss of enthusiasm and interest in the very things that have always made you happy. Material success doesn't make you happy. So I think... It's not that it's telling you that material success does not make you happy. Pretty much it offers choices and the ability to not be embarrassed by not being able to pay for things. Um, so uh, money is necessary. Um, it, it has a good vibration when used well. And this is suggesting that you did experience some amount of material success but it did not make you as happy as you were hoping 
Maybe it just went away into thin air and you have no idea what happened to it. Maybe you are planning, you know, maybe they came after you for it and you had to give it back. Whatever your particular scenario was, you know, maybe uh, it just disappeared. Who knows? Who knows? But, you know, over time we pay for things and over time money dwindles and then you reach a point where you need more money. And this is is talking about how maybe your enthusiasm for life could be restored with the proper amount of income Aquarius is spent on your particular interests, like, you know, helping others and, you know, eating, things like that. Interests we all, to some extent, share. It's just some people are easier to um, incorporate that into their well-being than others. All right, so um, let's see. And in the final scenario, this is a very interesting one, considering the last one where you're like, how do I survive? Um this is the Six of Pentacles, and in astrology, the Sixth House is always the house of service and of health. And in this case, you gain control over your financial life. It will become easier to meet payments. Concerns over your self-worth um, may be occurring uh, because, you know, you want to be generous. This is somebody who who actually is concerned with being a noble soul, uh, demonstrating that self-worth. So success in business or sales, increased personal power at work. You developed an understanding of financial success and how to manage it. You must give to others in order to keep money flowing through your life. So this is saying don't be spent stingy. Don't be stingy, and I'm not saying go out and spend when you get a paycheck. What I'm saying is when you construct your plan and you decide how much everybody gets, you need to allocate proper resources, especially to the people who are going to be perhaps in the lowest positions or who are um, having a harder time uh, making ends meet but they are good employees and need to be long-term employees. Um, in incorporating a good uh, atmosphere and culture in the plan itself from the start. And this says that a foundation or noble charity, a, a healing place which assists others in some way, this is the business to get into. This is about um, sales also. So if you have merchandise or your particular skill, um, you want to demonstrate that. This is saying that it is time to demonstrate these skills to the public. So I have a past life oracle card real quick because we were trying real hard to keep this down and we have the arts Aquarius so one of my favorite cards of this deck it is the first card I ever drew from this deck I'm very proud of that and I love this card it is the arts and in the arts it's, of course, saying that you had very significant past life experiences with the arts, um, that you have actually brought these skills into being in your life right now, in this present lifetime. You brought them with you. Unpack those skills. Visualize unpacking those skills. Lay them all out on your table as though you were the magician of the cards and and put that that arts to work. If you are wondering, hey, what what project did I forget about? What project should I pick back up? Where is my investment dollar best put? Because this is my last dollar. Then go with the arts. Uh, and what 
I'm feeling for you, and I always do this, I look for the arts under A with this book, and it's actually under T for the silly. All right. They could have just said arts, you know, but we would have known. So anyway, by the way, if you, you happen to work for Hay House or Llewellyn, get in touch. I'm waiting for your request that I can work for you. Um, I could be a copy editor. Okay. <laughs> just kidding. Um, we try to keep things light, but spiritual here evolved, you know, yeah, the mystic ashram. So you have artistic and creative talents that desire expression. This card comes to you as a sign. You would do well in an occupation relating to the arts. It also indicates that you were involved in the arts in prior lifetimes, which can explain your natural talents in the present. Uh, Double-edged sword. So as a prodigy, I love that word. The band's okay. I love that word. All right. Uh, you have artistic skills that are innate and don't require training or the need to practice. These inherent abilities have been passed down from prior lives. By the way, in India, prior lives is not just, uh, usually runs in families. So actually, you, you might be the reincarnation of a blood relative way back there uh, or several uh, kind of cool. Uh, there's also such a thing as ancestral karma. So if you feel like, you know, I don't know, you've been slogging through the first 50 years of your life without a lot of result. And one day it just like turns around and it's totally different. Yeah, that that thing's probably ancestral karma. And it takes a while to get over it. You, you get uh, a reprieve at a certain point in time. Um, if you make amends, uh, but that's a whole other matter. So to finish this up, it says about the arts, it's important to explore and give yourself permission to unleash your artistic side. So that's probably what's going to make you feel the best right now, Aquarius. Just get creative. Do it. Do it right now. Just let it all out there. Whatever you had a mind to do for years, this is it. This could lead to a lucrative career or fulfilling adv avocation or hobby. So take arts and crafts classes. I, I really dislike this term, crafting crafts. It, it makes it, oh, you and your nice little craft art therapy, isn't that nice? No, no, no. The arts. Thousands of years in the making. Very major part of being a human being the arts. It's different. It's not crafting. All right. Uh, George Carlin aside. Crafting. All right. This could lead to a lucrative career or a fulfilling avocation or hobby. So take arts and crafts classes. Follow your inner guidance about creativity. <sighs> Man. Um, more education. Really, Aquarius, isn't being hyperlexic enough for you people? All right, because I know you are. I'm watching you. I read everything. Wait. Anyway, so sun, moon, or rising, Aquarians, I hope this video has somehow helped you out. It is my pleasure, pleasure, pleasure to be here. I'm Dunham Carr Finley from Mystic Ashram, signing out and a Good night to all throughout the land. Many blessings. Satnam. See you soon.